Hey folks in internet land, this is Ryan Price, or Mr. A for effort, and right now it is almost 2 o'clock in the morning on February the 2nd, 2007. Uh, earlier today, being the first, I went over to the Orlando Museum of Art for this thing they have called First Thursdays, and my good buddy Brian Feldman was over there dressed as death, and he was handing out hot chocolate from his little hot chocolate cafe stand. And he got a little employment application with his logo on it. See that? Death by Chocolate. And he's even got this freaking thing watermarked. And he told me that he did the uh, the logo all himself. It's this thing they have called First Thursdays. And this fun little logo on R at the OMA. And uh, this month was all about chocolate. Uh, what does it say? Food of the gods and lovers. And this little Aztec guy doing a little dance. And um, cool stuff. You know, quality quality graphic design here by the Orlando Museum of Art. Probably breaking all kinds of copyright laws. Sponsors. Right? Push, Winter Park Blue, and Cinnabar. I don't know who Winter Park Blue and Cinnabar are. But... Um, neat stuff. Also in the chocolate room, they had um, the Global Chocolate was there. Had a stand with like chocolate tastings, I think. They were selling chocolate. But they had uh, another thing that Brian Feldman had was a, a light bright art of chocolate bars, which was pretty neat. There was a whole bunch of like photographs of chocolate and paintings made out of chocolate. Little sculptures and molds of chocolate of like women's breasts. They had these really, really awesome uh, roses. The petals were made out of like white chocolate, but so delicately crafted and so super thin. And they looked like they were melting and like opening up as the night went on. Um, and then the third thing that Brian Feldman was showing was it was one of those money booths, like you have with all the money flying by and you're trying to grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. But instead of money, there were these little wrappers of chocolate, chocolate, right? And uh, it was basically like a brownie, like a really dense, like vitamin-packed brownie. And I got six of them, and I gave two of them away. The espresso one was definitely the best. The orange one, yes. the mint one was okay, and the chocolate one was just kind of like a brownie, like a dense brownie. Um, but it's really small, but it still had like nine grams of fat, so you know it's not good for you. Oh, six grams of fat, but still, it's that's a lot. And Fourteen grams of carb. That's like that's like half a candy bar. And this thing isn't really very big at all. It's like you know four bites maybe. Um, and then the rest of the museum, they had the Geese Bend Quilt Expo, Expo thing. I don't think that's in here that I could show you. But well, it's back here. In the back, right? All of this section is mostly taken up by Guy's Bend, the architecture of the quilt, and just it has to be seen to believe. But it's this little community in Alabama where the quilt making is so like regenerative and recycled, and there's a lot of tradition, and they kind of have like these like the basic pattern that you have to learn, but then you get really crazy creative and they make you know quilts out of their old denim jeans and their old corduroys and their old dresses and their old potato sacks not potato sacks exactly but like sacks of grain and stuff that would come in and it's like it's a very sustainable little community kind of idea um and I really loved it she was like oh they're surrounded on three sides by water and it's this, it's this closed off community and it was cool it was really cool and my mama loved it my mom loves quilting um, and then I was working here at home with my friend Damien we're working on this thing for Inter-America Stage up in Sanford uh, doing a Drupal site for them doing some custom stuff some little image gallery kind of neat little stuff with jQuery and CCK and views and custom node types and all this kind of crazy stuff that if you're into Drupal, you're like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're like, oh. And 
it's all about keeping it simple for them. Like simple to update, simple to use, and simple to change. That we we would like kind of you know brainstorming about some things that we could have done differently or like, oh, we could integrate this system, we could use this third party application, or this does so much better image management, like Minalto Gallery, but I was like, too much complexity. If we can just keep it simple for them, keep things ready and like all in one nice little package, I think that'd be better. Um, and obviously, potentials chugging along. I'm learning so much about Drupal this week. And last week I hated Drupal, and this week I kind of like it. And it's, I think it's, I think there's a scale of like, how much do I know about Drupal, and how much do I see the result? And over here is like I didn't know a lot, and then over here I'm no, I'm learning more and I'm seeing more results. So I'm happier with it. It's like, I guess it's more like a graph, like you know, something like that, like two axes instead of two axes. I can't do this whole, it's mirrored on the screen, but I'm mirrored and I'm trying to do something over here, but it's, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, I should know. Let's start this over again. Florida Creatives, it's coming up nine days from now. February 11th, it's a Sunday at the Copper Rocket Pub gotta go. It's going to be 3.30, 4 o'clock, somewhere in there, because at 1 o'clock at the Enzion is Indie Film Slam for about two hours. They're going to show five or six films. And today was, yesterday was the last day to submit your films for that. So I hope you got them in. Again, Ryan Feldman. Um, and I think Jason Friedman is the other guy. I could be completely wrong on that. Writes for Access Magazine. Wants to really see some of the videos that we did for Orlando scene, but they're just not ready yet. Uh, there's no time to put them together. Hopefully this weekend something will come out. You'll see a, something from Orlando scene on Monday. Um, and that is about it for now, I think. So much other stuff. Kate got an apartment. You know, uh, Charlie and I got Skype phone numbers. I don't have it on me right now, but I will be posting my Skype phone number on the blog pretty soon, so people can call me and give my phone number publicly, and it'll just ring to my Skype, and if I don't want to answer it, I know it's from Skype, and Skype takes a voicemail for me, nice and simple, and it'd be nice for podcast people that can give them a phone number and say, call this phone number and leave us a voice comment, so I really like that idea, and uh, a lot of podcasters have Skype phone numbers, and I'm joining, I'm joining the 22nd century, I guess, or whatever you want to call this, the new, the, the year 2007, let's call it that, actually, I'm, I'm joining the year 2005, I think, with this Skype phone number, but um, exciting things are going on, we've got so many projects coming in, and uh, looking for interns, so if you do graphic design, if you do a little bit of PHP, a lot of CSS and HTML, and Making things look pretty, that's what we really are focusing on, is what's the front end stuff. The back end stuff is getting easier all the time to configure, and we've got people like Damien to help us out, um, that we're paying to do that kind of work. So, if you do graphic design, if you do good layout, send me an email, rprice at servosystems.com. Go to the website, servosystems.com, there should be a contact form on there. Um, Hey, if you're interested in doing a podcast, info at liberator.net. Again, our price at servosystems.com. And floridacreative.com, if you just want to come out and hang out. You know what I mean? February 11th, we're going to be there. And a lot of other things. We're talking about getting a booth at the grandma party for Florida Creatives. We're talking about getting a table all week at the Fringe Festival for Florida Creatives. Get involved, come out, do stuff, be a part of your own community. Talk to you guys.